Hi there, this is Jane here. I'm just here to um, pop up my little unboxing video of the Tarot of the Vampires. Um, I treated myself to this about, probably, I don't know, about a week ago or so. Um, and I haven't opened it yet, so I've been saving it to do a video, so couldn't resist it any longer. Had to be done. Um, so this is Terror of Vamp Vampires. It's by Ian Daniels. Um, this is the box. Um, quite a nice, sturdy box, I would say. Um, yeah, it comes with one of these nice flip things with a magnet. So good. Really like the boxes like that. So this is... Um, how the box looks. I'm just going to open it up and show you what is inside. So first of all we've got a beautiful design on the inside. Let me just come back a little bit see if we can see a little bit better. It's all a little bit close up with the iPhone I'm afraid. Um, so that is the um, inside of the box. Beautiful rose and thorns design. Um, I've heard a lot about this book um, that comes with this deck, so I'm really, really excited to see um, how good this book is because it's come with quite a lot of people have been saying how good it is. So um, interesting to see. So I've got this whole big box book here. Let me just pop this to one side just for a minute because I'm going to get distracted by those cards. Um, so this is the book. There's a lot of it, as you can see. All writing, no illustrations by the look of it. Um, so that looks like a fairly hefty read to me. Um, so I might just settle myself down tomorrow on Sunday with a cup of tea and have a good read through that. Because that looks like being a really interesting read. Um, I haven't even looked through the book, obviously, because I've just literally just opened it with you there. Um, so I can't tell you really much about what is happening here, but there seems to be some stuff here about shadow work and all kinds of different things. What I'll probably do is have a read through that and a look through that, maybe do a little review um, when I know a little bit more about it. So that's the book. This is the deck. Just get this out of the box. Okay, so it comes with like a nice um, pull tab thing, so you can just get it out nice and easily. So that's the box. I'll just pop the box back there so you can see it. And now let me just try and put my nail into this plastic that they insist on wrapping everything in these days. Sorry, let me just grab a small pair. Oh, there's a pair of scissors there. It's more prepared than I thought I was. So just snip off the corner so that I don't touch the cards. And then I should be able to get my thumb in there and get that open. That's it. Okay, so that's it. Getting that open now. Open the box. That's right. Okay. So well, that's got the plastic off. More plastic. Okay. I must say I do prefer it when they put like a paper, um, like a paper band around it and like seal the paper band rather than putting more plastic. It's just more plastic and more plastic and more plastic, isn't it? Um you know, I just I don't know, I just think that we could be more careful with that sort of thing. Um Beautiful, beautiful backs. Let me just put them this way up and just show you one. So absolutely gorgeous rose and thorns design. Same as on the inside of the box. Beautiful, beautiful backs. Um, I'm absolutely loving these cards already. Haven't even turned them over properly and had a look. So let's just have a quick look at the cards. Okay, so they are quite glossy. That's my first impression of them. Um, I think more and more cards these days have been getting more matte or this kind of um, this rose petal kind of feel to them. These are definitely quite glossy, but having said that, they are stunning. So you've got how full here. You know what that reminds me of? Um, it really reminds me of like, um, I know you might not be into this kind of thing, but 
Um, it really reminds me of like a Rudolf Nureyev type of pose, that kind of um, really dramatic, like Nijinsky, Nureyev, that kind of thing. There's a piece called um, the um, Spectre de la Rose, which is all about... Um, a kind of spirit of the rose that comes flying in through the bedroom window of this girl who's just been to her first ball and dark. it's very romantic and and probably a bit silly but it's beautiful and this just really reminds me of that beautiful fall and this is our magician hope you can see these okay a beautiful empress No, sorry, High Priestess. So I'm getting myself all muddled up here. So yeah, sorry, High Priestess, Moon. Um, I think I'd got carried away with the Spectre of the Rose again. Okay, so here's the Empress. A very, very handsome Emperor. So very mean, moody and magnificent about him. And the Hierophant. Hope you can see these okay. And the beautiful lover's card. Fabulous. Really lovely. And the Chariot. Certainly a strong Chariot. Let nobody get in his way. And here we've got Justice. And our Hermit. Beautiful wheel. Lots of people really don't like the wheel. Um, I like the wheel a lot. It's interesting, this one, though, because... Um, a lot of times when you get the wheel, you can really sense the motion, but this feels quite static to me. So um, in this deck, it's called Fortune, just Fortune rather than the wheel. Um, so that might be interesting to read how that's going to read. Quite interesting use of the chakra colours in these um, roses as well. So that might be interesting in the reading to see what comes up with those. Um, so that's the wheel, or the fortune card in this deck. Strength, beautiful strength. Lovely jaguar. Beautiful, beautiful cards. And the hanged man. Really cool. And the death card. And temperance. Temperance is interesting um, because as an as an Aries, <laughs> this is the pose I take up every time temperance jumps out of my deck. Especially if I'm if I'm reading for myself. Obviously, it's for other people. It's not so bad. Um, but when I'm reading for myself, this is my pose when temperance comes up. It's like, oh no, not again. Not more patience, please. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's temperance for you. And you've got here the devil. Sorry, it's a little bit too low. But our lovely devil card. This is going to be nice for shadow work, I think. Um, the tower. It's interesting, the tower card, because actually... Um, in a lot of tower cards, you can see the tower crumbling away, sort of falling away, can't you? Um, doesn't seem to be crumbling. I mean, obviously, there's a load of fire and stuff around it, so it's not good um, in terms of its status. But it's not all crumbling away. So there's there's a little bit of something different going on with that tower card. Or maybe you actually are strong enough to withstand quite a lot of what's going on around you with that tower. And then we've got Beautiful Star... Love the star. These are lovely cards. Um, this is the moon. 
I tell you what I also like about these cards is that um, you've got the sun. Um, I like the energy of them and also I like, as you know, I like a borderless deck. These black borders just don't seem to restrict the image as much as some others do. I've got judgment here. And the world. Beautiful world. I will quickly flip through some of the um, the miners, but I won't hang about too long over them. Otherwise, we'll end up far too long. But these borders are actually not too intrusive. Um, I do find borders quite intrusive on decks. I've said it before, but I, there are some where I really don't notice them. Um, and some where I really, really do. Um, these are gorgeous these cards so this is our scepters beautiful uh, but these these borders really don't infringe too much on the image I don't think not as far as I can make out so far anyway nine of scepters and ten. There's our lord. I think we've got lords instead of knights. And our queen. I don't know actually whether we might have. We'll flick through and we'll see what else we've got. So we've got a lord, we've got a queen, we've got a prince, and we've got a princess so yeah prince princess lord and um queen is the way that they are put three here's our um grails so our cups beautiful these are lovely our three of cups that's an interesting take on three of cups um yeah interesting and the four of cups might have a little work with some of these do some good shadow work with these i reckon five these are all the grails so our cups cards there we go Gorgeous, aren't they? Really fab. I do love a dark deck. Um, I've just recently done my spooky decks um, video, so I'll tag that onto the end of this as long as I remember. I'm a bit of rubbish at remembering things like that, but I'll do my best. Um, but yeah, he's good, isn't he? Prince of Grails. Um, our Daughter of Grails. Then we've got our knight, knight, knives. So we've got knives instead of um, swords and our scepters, I'm guessing, are wands because of the redness around them, um, the fieriness. So this is our knives or our swords. Oh, that is a beautiful three of swords. And a four of swords. Five of swords, knives, and our six. Really are some really rather um, gorgeous looking ladies and gents in here. Not surprising though in a vampire deck really because they do tend to um, have a little glamour, don't they? And our son, Prince of Knives, and our daughter of Knives. Really nice, really edgy she is. I'm liking that. And then we've got our skulls, which are the pentacles. Yeah, I think that yeah, pentacles. Um, so there's our beautiful 
Ace of Skulls, loving that. The Two of Skulls. better speed this along otherwise I'm gonna be uploading all night long liking these a lot oh I love that fabulous I do enjoy a horse Yeah, as I say, some rather beautiful vampires in this deck. So that is it. That's all of the cards. They are beautiful. I'm not going to shuffle them just yet because I just want to keep them in order just while they settle. I like to leave them to settle for a little bit. As you know, if you've seen my stuff before, I haven't done it recently, but I do tend to really enjoy having a smell of my new tarot decks. Just love the kind of the smell of the printer's ink and the laminate or whatever, you know, the sealant that they put on them. I just love all of that. So beautiful, beautiful cards. I'm going to leave them there and get used to the energy of them and then the energy of me. So I'll leave that there for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that's been helpful if you've wondered about the deck. What I'll do is I'll work with it for a little bit and then I'll probably do more of a review rather than a flip through. Um, I've got loads of those to do though, so not promising that that's going to come along too quickly. Um, thanks very much for watching and bye for now.